Right, we're going back in time here. This is a Schaefer PFM, a pen for men. Um, this one is in very good condition. It's not perfect. It has a little micro swirls you would expect from a pen this old. These were made in the 1950s. Um, they're very one of the early large pens designed specifically for men's hands. They have an inlaid nib. Schaefer inlaid nib. It's a gold nib. It's inlaid and it has an interesting filling system. This was the early snorkel system that Schaefer devised. To fill it you unscrew the back end cap. It doesn't come off. It just unscrews and as you unscrew it a snorkel comes out the front. Then you pull this back after it's fully unscrewed. Be gentle. Pull it back. Put a little column there and when you push this in put the snorkel in the ink push it in leave it a second i find that it helps if i do it several times i get a better fill that way heard some people say as often as six i find two or three i'll do it you hold it in a few seconds and then you just Simply screw the knob back in. And that retracts the snorkel. You can see the last of it as it goes in there. Goes up inside the pen. And now you're ready to write. And you notice the nib is not covered in ink the way most pens would be. I find that very handy. I think it was a brilliant idea. Now... This particular one, this is a Schaefer and I need to get this one adjusted. It uh, is writing kind of dry. I've had several of these over the years and then sold them. Um, I don't know if we got a little bubble in there or what's going on. Um, this one though has a tiny bit of flex which is unusual for a PFM. I find it kind of unusual in Schaefer in general but it's only a tiny bit. It's like uh, maybe goes double if you push it a little. Um, it definitely needs to flow adjusted. I'm going to quit writing with it. I'm not even going to test it in the other books. If I get, or when I get it back from being adjusted, I'll, uh, I'll redo this part. Let's check the measurements, though, while we've got it out. All right, turn this on, zero it out. See where you grip it. That's a pretty natural fit right there in front of the set at the right about where that nib is. Let's see what we get. 0.49. I'm getting 0.49 on the grip section. Now this is going to vary according to where you hold it. I'm just giving my best guess and like I said I'm holding it right there. If you hold further down, I don't know how you do that with a fountain pen very well, but you would get a different result. You know, I may just have a bubble. I think I will continue with the... Seems to be writing just fine now. It's not as wet as the old number five I had. But that one had just been professionally rebuilt. All right. Um, so, back here on the fatter part of the barrel. I'm coming out uh, 0.49. That's about the same. So it's, it's pretty consistent down. It does taper a little towards the end cap. Um, let's check our measurements. My cap this thing. Well, let's get inside the cap while I've got this thing out. Alright, inside the cap we're talking... 
Well, everything's 0.49 on this one. 0.49 inside the cap. And I'm going to pause and come back to writing on the other paper. I want to get these measurements out of the way so I don't forget them. I've had kind of a rough week and I'm really not firing on all barrels here. Uh, I'm coming out five and a half. Capped. Five and a half. Uh, uncapped. I don't ever write with one uncapped. I, I pretty much am a poster. Uh, just a smidgen over four and three quarters. Uncapped. Yeah, it's writing better now. Four and three quarters. And uh, posted, which is how I would use it. It posts securely. It's a friction fit, but it posts securely. I always check that uh, because I do post. Five and three quarters. I'm coming out right at, at five and three quarters. Maybe just a tiny bit shy of that. Uh, posted. Yeah, it's writing much better now. Okay. So we already did our girth measurements. Let's get the widest point of the cap if we can. That is um, 0 0.59. 0.59. All right, so let's try some different writing surfaces. Uh, here's a pad I just tested a different pen with. This is the yeah, it's still dragging just a little bit on the ink, but not like it was. P.F.M. Uh, uh, this is the P.F.M. 3. You can tell it's a 3 because it's black with gold trim. They come in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Theoretically, there's a 6, and I even heard there was an 8. I've never seen one. I heard the 8 was solid gold. And, uh, but what you see in, in normal pen sites is one through five. Five has a gold cap, a uh, gold filled cap. All right, but this is the three, which is my favorite. I kind of like the black with just a little bit of gold trim. A lot of my pens are that way. Um, yeah, this tends to write just a tiny bit dry at first, but once you get going, it's wet. So I'm thinking that's an adjustment problem. Let's see how it does on this. Um, this is a um, docket gold, which is a little smoother, less absorbent paper. And it makes a difference in how it writes, too. Writes better on docket. I am getting just a little bit of dryness there. It may have a baby bottoms problem. If you're unfamiliar with that, that's when the tines, if you looked at them from the bottom, greatly magnified, I'll draw you a picture. It looks like a baby bottom. Uh, if you were looking at the end of the tip, instead of this being like this, it got a little too rounded in the middle. And it causes some air in there, and it doesn't doesn't write well. All right, this is your moleskin. Still getting a little bit of dryness as I start, but then it picks up. Moleskin journal. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of skipping here. All right, sketch pad. Is it a sketchable? That was done with a delta. Let's see how this does. You know, the less you pick it up, the better it does. So I'm thinking that is definitely an adjustment problem. And just the feet a little and maybe the tines, and it should do just great. Uh, let's see how much line variation we can get out of it. Those are regular lines. Oops. Going dry. Yeah. I think it just needs the wetness adjusted. And it's, uh, it's what I'd describe as a slight flex. It, it goes twice its normal width. That's just a slight amount of flex. I wouldn't even call it uh, um, I probably wouldn't refer to it as a flex pen. 
All right, that's more like a soft tip. All right, that's the Schaefer PFM. The end cap is black on this, on both ends. If you get the number uh, five, it has a gold end cap, little thing. Uh, I think the four does too. Beautiful pen. It's got a little Schaefer white dot up here on the clip. It's a spring-loaded clip. I don't ever test them though, but that's what they say.